Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kay again. I'm coming at you again tonight. I just did a video earlier about uh, my new install of the Socialite Hair Ink Virgin Brazilian Hair, straight, straight hair, sorry, that I have. And as I was just um, putting it up, getting ready to go to bed and everything, I was on the website Hairlista, and I am a member of there. And I did the sewing because this is my choice of protective style. I mean, I've worn weaves for the last two years, and I usually just get like four to five tracks, and with just four to five tracks, there's so much leave out that's left out, and then I got heat damage because of all the flat ironing that we did with the hair. So, once I started my hair journey, I just now started my hair journey uh, September 5th of this month, actually, just recently, so I'm only in it for about three, four, maybe five weeks and being that I'm home I've been taking care of my hair I am home I've been home for the last three months on maternity leave I start work again on October 1st and I sure can't wait but anyway being that I was home when it's maternity leave I took the hair journey very seriously I made sure that I moisturized and I made sure that I sealed I did my braids to the back as my protective hairstyle I did a bun and I would add hair to it and just keep my hair inside the bun and that would keep it moisturized more so I didn't have to moisturize it maybe for two days because it would stay moisturized in the bun. So that was my method I used of protective hairstyling. And like I said I was on Hair Lista earlier and I was just typing up, you know, the fact that I did my first protective hairstyle and I said, Oh, this is a perfect video for YouTube, my hair journey. So yeah, I did the, you know, I did a lot of research. I did YouTube videos. I did the blogs. I did Hair Lista. What's the other one? Long Hair Care Forum. I was there as well. And I've been reading up, doing my research, making sure. I even Googled about the oils and everything because I didn't want to go and spend all this money and it's not worth it. So when I started my hair journey, I went out and I bought, oh no, I grabbed the wrong thing. It was a motions leave no the motions daily moist conditioner no sorry oh, blah, blah, blah. rewind motions daily moisturizer and I found out that that moisturizer contained mineral oil which is one of the products that they say is not so good for your hair so since then I did go and switch for the cream of nature argan oil from Morocco oil moisturizer. I went and got that, so that's what I've been using. I've been using my Motions Leave-In Conditioner, Nourish Leave-In Conditioner. I love that. I spray it. I would spray the leave-in conditioner first. Then I would add the, oh Lord, I can't talk. I would add the moisturizer, and then I would seal it in with my oils. Now, I bought a little small bottle of olive oil because it was the pure virgin olive oil and I've since then used that because I would always add it to my conditioner when I condition my hair when I pre pulled condition I also added it to um, the ends of the ombre hair yesterday when I did the conditioning then I used the olive oil a lot and I also used the Antillian coconut oil because this I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I don't know right now. But you have to use two different kind of oils. One that makes it actually get inside your roots and inside the scalp and make everything. And carrier. The carrier oil. So the coconut oil is the carrier oil that's carrying all the rest of the oils into my scalp and making, you know, generating that hair growth and maintaining your hair and making it healthier and fuller. Oh, wait. I just saw a better light. Sorry, excuse the lighting. Like I said, I just started. I'm using my webcam in my living room. That's why I look crazy. There's nothing on my walls because we just got here not too long ago. And I used to, I had, my old apartment I had decorated, but I got tired of the same pictures. I have new pictures now, but I want new frames. You know, I'm, anyway. And last but not least, actually, this tea tree oil, I just bought this tea tree oil when I decided to do the sewing because tea tree oil, it helps, <coughs> excuse me, these allergies, oh my gosh, tea tree oil, it helps the itchiness in your scalp, so I wanted to make sure I put that in my scalp 
while I have this because I do plan on make, keeping this sewing for about, I would say, a month or two. So nobody wants to issue scalp. And I do plan on every three days. Um, I mentioned it in the armbay video. I don't have it anymore because I put it away. But I have a spray bottle that's a mixture of all my ingredients there. And I spray inside each one. I plan to do that every three days so that my hair continues to be moisturized i want to i'm trying to have a successful hair journey here and maybe not need someone's one day or i don't think i'll ever not need someone's i love hair i always like i said i've worn sewings and tracks for the last two years i started with a full head weave and then i just got the tracks because my hair had gotten so long and healthy and then when i took out my tracks last time because when I noticed the breakage, and I don't want to lift it up because I already have it slanted down, but I had noticed breakage in the middle, and that's from the heat damage, so I was very, very upset. And that's when I started Googling and doing my research and see how to maintain and make your hair healthier. So that was the beginning of my hair journey. Um, I went and I got the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. This one is almost empty, but CVS had them three for ten, so I bought two conditioners because I know I condition with the pre, you know, the pre poo and I condition a lot. So, co-wash. I'm sorry, I'm new to this. Sorry about that. I co-wash a lot with the conditioner, and like I said, I added the olive oil and I have a co-wash all the time. I would do the overnight deep conditioners, I would, and it was Dr. Miracles. It was so good because it was an intensive tingling. You would feel it. It was beautiful. And that was one of the reasons I want to pick up that peppermint oil because you actually feel it working and you feel like it's actually doing something. And I would always air dry my hair. I didn't even put any heat to my hair until today when I did the flat iron. And it was only just my leave out here. So... And even that, I made sure I did the heat protector and everything because, you know, like I said, I am trying to be very successful in my hair journey. So, like I said, I'm only in a couple of weeks, and so far, so good. I'm enjoying this. I love my hair. I'm maintaining my hair. And like I said, I was just getting ready for bed, so here's my silk scarf. I've had this silk scarf forever and ever and ever. You see the edges are frayed. It's just old. And I just won't give it away because it's the best one that I have. I mean, I have so many different ones, blue, black, whatever. But I always come back to my little purple one. It's the smoothest and it just feels so great. And then I'm going to top it off with my little cap here. I'm going to put it on top because I just, I sleep crazy. And I want to protect this hair. So, yeah. So that's my hair journey. That's the beginning of my hair journey. I will continue to keep us posted, you know. And if you're having a hair journey, definitely share with me. Let me know. I've watched some videos on the hair journey. So if you do come across this video, you know, comment below. Let me know what's going on. And we can definitely talk. So thanks for watching my video. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.